This is a time for the board to hear public testimony, not for board deliberation. Madam Chair, we have three. Carl Wickman. Good morning. That wasn't very graceful. <laughs> okay. Good morning, Madam Chair and Commissioners. For the record, I am Carl Wickman. In the 1930s, Washington County removed its last covered bridge, and Clackamas County tore down its last covered bridge in 1953. In 1982, Multnomah County built its first ever covered bridge at Cedar Crossing. I've given each of you a copy of the original flyer on that historic event. What I'm holding is the master plate that the, those copies were struck from, and on it, it's a personal inscription. It says, Leah, thank you for making this such a grand event. It was truly a community affair. I appreciate your sharing this grand dream with me. Thank you, Don Clark. Less than 90 days ago, I came before you with a dream of getting the historical marker for the bridge replaced. That marker had been, dis had been gone for over two decades. Thanks to Multnomah County's Kim Peoples, Gary Pettis, and Tyler Kunter, there is now a marker on the bridge. And thanks to Vice Chair Shiprack and the county staff, a rededication event was held this past Saturday at the county's first building to be named in honor of the life's work of a woman, Leah Wickman. I would like to take this opportunity to thank those who helped me with my dream by making presentations. Commissioner Shiprack, State Representative Alyssa Kenny Geyer, Ann Cracky from Leach Gardens, Matt Clark, Johnson Creek Watershed Council, Jill from Lusher Farms, Doug Turner from the company that built Cedar Crossings, your own Kim Peoples, the lady who created the name Cedar Crossing, Janelle Cooper and her son Chase, and finally Representative St State Representative Jeff Reardon. A personal note, of all those people listed, I had only personally made contact with two of those ones before this project started. I had nobody in my pocket with this. It was a complete act of faith on their part to come forward, and nobody said no when I requested that they give a presentation. So it shows you the power and the strength that, that, that the bridge means to people in the county, in the region. Finally, I see that you're having a meeting this afternoon at the historic Wickman Building. I had reported earlier in a previous meeting that your archivist, Terry Baxter, and I had discovered that there was only one missing proclamation in the county files, and that was the historic Wickman Building. Good news, the proclamation has been found, and at the Cedar Crossings rededication event, Leah's grandson, A.D. Nepper, read it before the crowd. In closing, I'd like to quote from the speech Mom made in that building she titled Community Action. Take care about what happens to your fellow man. Take care of your environment, your community. There's many exciting things happening around us because other people cared. I thank you for your time, and I thank you for your service to the people of Multnomah County.